before we go into the ATG system and all the beautiful benefits, your coach back then in the day, you know, when you were doing basketball and other sports, what was your resume? What was your program, your exercises? Yeah, so I would say that the coaches, while they were they were good teachers for the sport, they are out of their depth when it comes to physical training. Like often there were no programs. I went to a small private school in Wisconsin, right? So there's probably like uh, 365 kids in the school over four classes, four grades. So like we didn't, our soccer team, we didn't have it. We didn't even train. We didn't physically train, meaning like we didn't go into the weight room or do any of that. Only for basketball was that something we did. And first of all, it wasn't really a priority. It wasn't an in-depth program individualized to each player to overcome their weaknesses or their shortcomings, right? So most of it is like you find stuff on your own. Like my dad would find something and be like, oh, this can help you jump higher or this can help with whatever, right? And so you would do that. And that's what I did. Um, so I was actually lifting a lot in eighth grade, yeah, seventh grade, eighth grade, freshman year of high school. So at that point you're talking like 12 to 14, 15. And I did jump higher, but you know, every time I would have a surgery, I would like reset from zero, basically. Not from zero, but you know what I mean? Like I would have to redo everything that I had already done and I would go back to some sort of some lower level and I would have to come back from it and then I would get another surgery and eventually you just get tired of doing that. So I'd say around maybe 16, I just stopped lifting because it's not, it wasn't helping, you know, I was still having surgeries, so I didn't see it as helpful. So I stopped lifting um, lower body stuff and I would just play. Some people have the story of they were doing the wrong training, right? I just feel like I wasn't doing the, like maybe I was doing some of the wrong training. And at the same time, I just wasn't training. Eventually, I just stopped training for in the weight room altogether. I just didn't see the point anymore. And I was convinced that like the best way would be without weights. Like you have to find a way to do it body weight because I had associated weights with not being helpful. So what exercises did you do for your back then? For What was your weight lifting for the legs? Yeah, so I would do, I did, my dad found this like 30 day jump program, right? So we would do like, you know, your regular old barbell squats, hip thrusts, split squats, but not like the ATG split squats, more like a Bulgarian split squat where the back leg is elevated onto some bench. Um, and then the front leg is not going knees over toes, you know, it's in a limited range of motion. But, but mostly the basics, you know, it's like you bench, you squat, you deadlift and you're gonna be Superman. They can, like, people really believe that. And I believed it too, because the people who were telling me were older than me, they had more experience. So you figure they know what they're talking about. When I've gotten older and I've gotten into ATG, then you realize, oh, well, they, they missed the mark. And that the bench deadlift squat thing is not that helpful for athletes. And there are much better systems and exercises to be using.